Hi there, this is Ed Howard from Visual Carnival. I'm just going to do a quick video here because um, I've stumbled upon a resolution to an issue I've had for a long while. Now, this is a uh, video I've just be, been doing. It's a drama for a friend and um, uh, I sent off the, the video, the, this bit here, the, uh, the original audio video to a friend of mine to do some audio post-production and some add some uh, music as well. And we've always had this problem with that he, I export the OMF, I export a MPEG-4 for the video to him, he, he does all his work. Uh, it comes back to me as a single audio file which you see down here. This one here. And it's always out of sync. Every single time. And we, for ages we were banging our heads against the wall trying to figure out what the hell's going on. This, and I just, if I go back a bit. So you can hear an echo there because it's out of sync. And uh, what we concluded is that it gets worse throughout the, the, the video. So the audio, this new audio, is has been brought in at the wrong frame rate so it's it, it, it gets progressively more out of sync as the clip goes on um, so what we figured out is and I found this on a forum somewhere I've been, I went everywhere to try and find this is uh, what we need to do is get rid of that audio out of the timeline out, out of your bins go to Easy setup. And set up the easy setup the way that your timeline is. And my, so mine's at Apple Red Perez 422, 23.98 and Blackmagic HTV. I mean, if you're, even if you're not doing HQ, there isn't a, a standard uh, 422 preset there. But I found this works as well. Set up and save quit out of Final Cut go back into Final Cut re-import the audio and drop it into the timeline like so Hallelujah. So just to run through it again, go to easy setup, turn it, you know, um, change the all the bits to match your timeline that you're working with at the moment, hit setup, quit our final cut, re import the audio, and off you go. There you go, solved at last. I hope that helps somebody. Cheers.